Okay, another quick video here of uh, some work I've done on a 2014 uh, Freightliner Cascadia DD15 with a 13-speed manual transmission. Uh, first off, I was having issues with this this thing right here. This is the clutch bypass switch. This does your clutch, so you have to push the clutch in to crank the truck up. It also controls the cruise control and the jig brakes. So in past trucks, what I'd do is I'd usually just find the two wires in here and just loop it and uh, you'd bypass the, the clutch bypass, but it wouldn't affect your uh, cruise or your um, jig brakes. So you could just crank the truck up in neutral without pushing the clutch in. I hate pushing the clutch in to crank the truck up. Um, this one's a little bit more involved, so you can't do that. Um, so what I did was first off, this was giving me problems. So it, you turn the truck on, the needles would sweep. You turn the key with the clutch in, nothing would happen. Sometimes you'd have to cycle it six or seven times finally, or push the clutch pedal a different way. I think I think these little springs in here were going bad, so I replaced it. But the truck still does it every once in a while. Where you have to cycle it, turn the key on, wait for the gauges to sweep, and then you turn it, and all it does is click in the fuse box. So maybe there's a relay that I need to replace in the fuse box. I, mean, I might just find out that relay and just replace it. But I don't like touching, pushing the clutch in to crank the truck up anyways. Uh, so what I did was I decided to run a bypass uh, switch. I'm going to push put a push button uh, starter switch just like old trucks used to have in it. So what I did was, let's go over here, first thing I did was you need to run a line from the top of the cylinder. It's a 5 16 little nut. It has a Phillips head top on it, but you won't get a Phillips head in there. A wrench, a ratcheting wrench works best, but you might be able to get a small socket in there. And I just ran a new, see that new black uh, covered line versus the grayer one. I just ran a new one at the top of that. Now, some people will just go ahead and catch your power underneath there, and there's two posts underneath there, and there's, those are live. And you could just jump the solenoid right there with a wire. Some cars you could do it with a with a screwdriver because it's you know, but this one you wouldn't be able to do it with a screwdriver the way it's positioned. In case you you know, in case your bypass switch goes bad. I ran a new wire all the way underneath the truck, up through the battery box, and right here. This is off the starter cylinder. This wire coming up from the floor from the battery box is is hooked straight to the battery, 12 volts. And if you touch these together, the truck will crank up. So I'm going to run the wires underneath here and I'm just going to put a push button uh, starter switch right there. So I'll turn the key on. Once this sweeps, I'll just push it. I'll show you that here shortly. All right. Um, from where I left off, I had the wires uh, coming up through the floor, down through this kick panel here, and out the back. <clears throat> and I was going to run the wires all the way right here to this place, but I figured, you know what? Why not just put it down here? So what I did was I just put a hole right through here, used a hole saw, normal thing right here. Bought a switch off of eBay. Switch off of eBay for five bucks, free shipping. And uh, and then you just push it. You turn the key on, you push this. Now you push this with the key off, it'll still crack the train. So you always have to have the key on and you push it. Well, that's it for that. Um, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, get all this basically put together. So, <clears throat> and here's the button right there, just above the uh, the port. So turn the key on, needles are sweeped. You push it, fires up. All right, that's that job is done. Um, good luck if you guys want to do this.